What's up, family? It's your sister, Adrian. And I'm your brother, Asad. And we're back with another quick video. So, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop new videos on this channel. Bam, bam, bam. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, we'd like to thank our South African family for throwing this channel so much love. Uh, and we want to give you a special, peculiar, a significant, significant. <laughs> <laughs> she tried it. She I tried it. I get the script. So we okay, have a what, what type of love? Give me the love. We have a special, a significant, <laughs> a particular, and a peculiar type of love for our South African family. Yeah, and we want to make sure we thank you guys for all the love you have shown this channel. That's bam, right. bam, bam, just like that. Hi. Shout out to KZN Stand Up. Bam, 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 just like that. And we are back again. Wait, anything in terms of housekeeping? In terms of housekeeping, we are going to go live come Sunday. All right. Sunday. I think it'll be. The first live in a very long time. Right. We haven't gone live in a minute. We've been neglected. But we will be going live Sunday at 6 p.m. South Africa time. <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> South Africa time, 6 p.m. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. So we will go live Sunday and we got a lot to discuss. So let's just jump right into it and talk about, first of all, where are we as it relates to this move to South Ooh. Africa? June is coming up just like that. Close your eyes. Bam, bam, bam. I used to tell my students, you went to bed at... Uh, on December 31st at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> and you woke up, it was January 1st, the next year, a whole year had passed while you were sleeping, <laughs> just like that. Bam, bam, bam. So this month, we gonna go to sleep one day, it'll be May 31st, and we gonna wake up, is it May 31st or May 30th? 31st. 31st. And we gonna wake up and it's gonna be June 1st, a whole month passed. While we were sleeping. And June is coming up quick. So uh, right where, the corner. where are we? Okay, so one, it looks like the house is gone. Yeah, we have a signing date. The final step was yesterday. We're closing. And we're going into closing, which is with the I don't know if the same language is used in SA, but it's um the transfer of deed, the transfer yeah. of title deed. It's a it's a whole process. We gotta sign so a lot of paperwork. We just sign stuff and send it off. Virtually. Yeah, yeah. So uh, or they send us uh virtual sign signing, yeah. Stuff. So so but I think they do it in person in SA yeah. in real life because you know when we went to not Van Deventer. That's true. Yeah. The other place. Um, what we call it? We had a nickname for. Funny acting. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> we thought she was funny acting. She was she, funny. She acting, was. She was a little funny. Yeah, acting. but uh, she got she got that paperwork done quick. Though. She did. Facts. <laughs> so we got to go and uh, sign the paperwork, and then the house will no longer be ours. So we we'll, we'll, we will be homeless. Now the second thing we have to do is actually go back to DC. And I just sent an email request today yeah. to go back to D.C. to the embassy because we have all the paperwork mm -hmm. that we need. Well, we had to send the children's visas off. No, passports. Passports, I'm sorry. To passports. So they get renewed. Uh, minor passports only last five years. Mm -hmm. So they had to get their passport renewed. And fortunately, uh, I'm just shocked and surprised and astonished that the United States government uh, moved efficiently and effectively. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. Two weeks. And the, the passports came right. back. I bam. really was like, I could have waited to go uh, to D.C. No, I thought it was going to take at least five or six months. Right, right. But they came back. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. So now we have to go back to D.C. in order to uh, get the student visa application submitted for the children. The yeah. two student visa yeah. applications. So that's where we are. And we're still waiting for, um, so I can't really, like, um, buy a plane ticket for June until I actually get my passports back with the visa from the South African Embassy. Although I technically could buy it, but uh, I would have to buy a flex ticket because there's yeah, no telling if, if, if it's going to take, you know, they said 
four to five weeks, mm -hmm. and we really wish they could Wait, put them. Are we at two weeks yet? We passed. We just made, take two, uh, Wednesday that passed yesterday mm -hmm. made two weeks. So I mean, time moves fast, you Maybe know. We think about early. it. Maybe we'll get that in the mail and be like, what? wow. <laughs> And maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we'll be like, mm, we moved. So yeah, yeah. So we, 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 we need to get it before June 10th because after June 10th, we don't have this address we anymore. Don't we don't live here anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, did you know, stuff get lost and you're looking for it. And that's going to just be hectic. Um, you know, I'm just going to show up at these people's house every day like this. Well, I'm just checking the mail. <laughs> How about that? So that's where we are. But today... Mm. Mm. I haven't been on a soapbox here in a minute. I know I posted a video about hip hop, right? And how I was feeling about that. But the day I posted that or, or, or around the time I posted that, there was a mass shooting, actually mm. three mass shootings in the United States in one weekend. Mm. Now, the one, all of them, we, we, we pray for the victims and the victims' right. families. We One was in the church, mm -hmm. right? And we pray for the families and the, of the victims. We wish, you know, that the, that, that if you are a believer, if they are believers in God, mm. that the God be a comforter, yeah. that it provides peace, that he lightens their loads and gives mm -hmm. them the strength to get through this difficult time. We have them in our thoughts, prayers, supplications, and doors. Right. All of them. But I have to talk about the one in particular where a evil, racist, hate filled, demon white boy drove 200 miles. I don't know what it is in kilometers, uh, SA. But that's a long, a long trip. 200 miles. That's two or three hours he drove. Right. He had it on his mind. To go to a predominantly black section in Buffalo, New York. This not down south in Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, where they used to lynch black folks. This ain't Texas. No. No, this not the Confederate South. Right the, there near the Canadian border. This this New York, New York. Well, not New York, New York, but this is New York. New York. The big old state. The, the Empire State, New York. Right? This is New York. He drove 200 miles to murder 60 and 70 year old black people. Mm. For no reason other than he hates black people. Hmm? They say, Brother Sai, why y'all want to leave America? That's it. How many times have I just been on this YouTube channel telling you about the viciousness that 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 is perpetrated against black people in this country? Yeah, there's racism all over the world. There's racism in South Africa. But what we don't see is white boys running into black people's uh, grocery stores or their churches Light and shooting up. nine and ten of them at a time. How long we gonna take this black people? No, honestly. Last year, Asian Americans were being targeted in 2020 and 2021, they were being targeted right. for being uh, because Donald Trump and his xenophobic self was saying that Asians were responsible for the, the COVID virus. Yes. They had names like the Kung Flu, mm. right? Mm. Within months, no, within weeks, they had an Asian hate crime bill Authored and signed by the uh, and passed by the the, the, the legislator and the Congress right. and on the desk of the president and signed within weeks. Black people been getting killed in this country and we don't have no extra protections. It took them damn near a hundred years. 
to sign an anti-lynching bill. Think about that. To make lynching a federal crime, it took them damn near a century. Mm. Huh? Huh? I, my heart mourns for my people. And it mourns for myself. Because we that's why we're leaving. No, there's no place on earth that's perfect. Some I'm sure some old head scratching Negro foot shuffling. <laughs> all the chicken and watermelon eating Negroes gonna get in the comments talking about when well, South Africa got racism. Man, sit your scary self down. And those aren't the ones that make that comment. Yes, they are. No, they, no, no, no. yeah, they got the good job that lives in the nice neighborhood. Them head scratching Negroes. They they went from being um. Uh, 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 Sam Bo to Sam Dot Bo Esquire. <laughs> MD. <laughs> Man, listen, you can stay if you want. We out. Right. And I think that's it. Yeah, you can stay if you want. We out. Has a, has a decision to make. And if this is, if this is you, then this is you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the way I see it, I cannot risk my children and my children's children living in a world or a country, let me say, in a society that has deemed them acceptable to be second class citizens. I cannot risk my children and grandchildren having to accept the, the hard racism of murder and lynching and and mm -hmm. and these unexpected shootings and then the soft murder of low expectation or the soft racism of low expectations or the soft racism of 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 economic exclusion or the soft racism of of certain types of expectations play ball rap negro mm -hmm. yeah no no i don't want my children to live like that honestly I spent 43 years in the United States of America. I remember thinking, man, a black man can never. You know how many, in, in, we went to an all black university. You know how many yeah. intelligent black men and women that I've met that I thought to myself, man, that person, is, man, that could be the leader of the free world. Mm, mm. Not in this country. I mean, we had one, Barack, right? And we never thought that we would see that. And let me tell you this, we won't see it again. What we are experiencing now is what white backlash looked like. Four years of President Trump was what white backlash looks like, right? What we are experiencing now, critical the attack on critical race theory and taking books out the schools. Yeah, this, this is, yeah, the reason why they don't want white children learning about no critical race theory it's because then, then they'll get convicted. And with conviction comes accountability. With conviction comes accountability. Here's what I mean. I work in criminal court. I work in criminal court. All my clients are murderers, rapists, gangsters, drug dealers. All of them. All of them. I don't have no, no uh, 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 a client that's not a gangster. All of them. Every last one of them got blood on their hands. And when I see them take plea deals, accept responsibility, these are the questions that the judge has to ask the individual when they take, they say, look, you try to fight this case, you're going to get 100 years mm. consecutively, not even concurrent. You're going to get 100 years for this crime and 100 years for the next crime consecutively, right? So right. they say, let me go on and get, you going to give me a plea deal for what? 30? I could do 30. I'm 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 26 now. I can come home at 50, 56. Yeah, let me take them 30. Right? So they take those 30 years and they agree. And the judge asked them a series of questions. And then one of the questions, the first question is, are you pleading guilty because you are indeed guilty? Mm. And when they say yes, they convict. Yeah. See, there's a conviction now. And then the next question is. Has anyone promised you anything in exchange for a guilty plea? Mm. 
It's illegal to do that. So they have to say no. Yeah. I accept my guilt. Wait a minute. The conviction is already there. Right. Now they are doing what? Accepting accountability. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. They're accepting accountability. I forgot where I was going. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you went through all of that to lose your train of thought. <laughs> you were talking about critical race theory and teaching white. There we go. Thank you, my baby. <laughs> Thank you, my baby. That's why she here. That's that 43-year-old mind. Hey, I ain't got old, man. I ain't as sharp as I used to be. But when, when you are... Oh, when you come back to being old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was gonna come back. Okay, okay. It was gonna come back. But uh, 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 when you teach someone and they are about what their people have done and what a country continues to do and how they benefit mm -hmm. from these actions against a certain group of people, then there is a level of conviction that takes place. And then when they get convicted, what happens? It's natural accountability mm. I, they can't just continue to do the same thing they then then you say you see you see our white brothers and sisters our allies who have learned who have studied what has taken place and the crimes and the and the mm -hmm. the systemic uh violations that have been committed against black people and you see the way they act they allies they out there marching for george floyd they out there marching more than black people mm. You understand? The police come for the marches. They stand in the front. <laughs> yeah, because now it's time to take accountability. So they want to pull that out. They don't want their people taking accountability. They don't want them being convicted. And when you don't have accountability, when you don't have a conviction, when you don't teach them history, you get crazy white boys running into uh, uh, supermarkets, shooting people. Then he had the nerve to film it. Mm -hmm. And wait a minute. Put on social media for you. Wait a minute. I know I'm on my soapbox, y'all. I'm preaching. Don't I apologize. Get the train. Get the train. Yeah. But I'm saying, do you know they took this white boy alive? Yeah. Not a scratch on her. Not a scratch on her. I know black people get beat up for traffic tickets. I know black Rodney, people. Rodney almost got beat. To, to death. <laughs> and then you have people, well, he should have just complied. He should have complied, yeah. Rodney got beat to death for This white boy had on, violation. what you call it, Kevlar, right? Mm -hmm. Body mm -hmm. armor, guns. He got blood on his hand from 10 different, 13 different people he shot. 10 of them died. Mm. And they took him alive, talking to him nice. Mm. Can you please put your hands behind your back, sir? Whoa. Whoa, I've I've seen I've seen them jump on black men for talking back at a traffic stop. Yo, so will you tell me the why you leaving? That's why I'm leaving. Mm. Because our life is constantly in danger. We have to have an entire movement to remind the American people that black lives matter. Mm. That I gotta tell you that my existence means something. What's his name? Rene Descartes? Dwight Ward? Yeah. I think um, therefore I am. Oh. I'm yeah. Talking about, not just talking about the Dwight Ward and ran up in the thing. I oh, like, I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> I, I don't want to keep that name in my, my brain. Mm -hmm. Rene Descartes, I believe is how you say it, is, uh, you know, he said, I think therefore I am. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right. That is a response to an interrogative about existence. How do I know I am? Because I think hmm. because I think. Right. Now, watch this. Ralph Ellison wrote a book called The Invisible Man. Right. And in the book, The Invisible Man, paraphrasing, he says that I'm not invisible. I'm only invisible because people refuse to see me. Mm -hmm. Huh? This this is how does this tie into Black Lives Matter? We are not even seen. Ralph Ellison, Ralph Ellison's book is a, is 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 a is 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 a uh, um um uh, uh uh a metaphor of Black existence in the United States. We are not even seen. We are invisible people, and the only time we may be seen is when we run in a basketball or shooting a hoop or running a football, and then and uh, we on the six o'clock news being arrested for something. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? So there's a saying in hip hop music, uh, and particularly here in New Orleans, it says, respect my mind. If Rene Descartes says, I am, I think, therefore I am. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And then, and then Ralph Ellison says, I'm invisible because people refuse to see me when our hip hop brothers and all of their ignorance. And I can, you know, I can go on and on about them, yeah. but in all of their ignorance, when they say, respect my mind, what are they really saying? Descartes is saying that my existence is proven by the fact that I have a mind. Mm -hmm. So when black folk tell people, respect my mind, you say, respect my existence. That's the same thing as telling somebody Black Lives Matter. I got to tell you to respect my existence. I got to tell you that my life matters. Why? What type of word I got to tell somebody? You know, you know, Asian people don't have to tell people that their life matters. There is no Asian life matter movement. Mm -hmm. There is no white life matter movement because people automatically know it's innate that their lives matter. We got to sit around begging people and telling them that we matter. Huh? How much longer are we supposed to do that? How many more generations? Big mama did that. Granddaddy did that. Mm. Yeah, mom and daddy did that. Yeah, how many more generations we got to do this? Well, no, I'm done. More generations. I'm it's done a with choice. it. I'm you know, Like my big mama said, I done washed my hands. It's a choice at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to preaching. I, I got, you know, I get in my feelings. <laughs> I get in my feelings. But yeah, so that's why we out. Why are we moving to South Africa? They always ask us these questions. And you know, let me tell you something about white and black right quick. Mm. I've had the experience twice in two days, three days, the day before yesterday it happened and the day it happened. This completely <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with oh, we so were just jumping again. With this? <laughs> but I told oh, I knew what so uh, uh, we have a, a, a white neighbor that just moved in. Yeah. Next door. And uh, you know, we have the for sale sign in front of the house because the house is going. And, you know, he I've met him before. We talked and shot the breeze or whatever have you. So the first time I actually met him and told him that we were moving to South Africa, he was like so excited. Mm -hmm. He's a rugby fan. He's a soccer fan. And he was just like, oh, man, I love Johannesburg. And I love he, he didn't. And watch this. He loved Josie. He knew about Josie. He didn't know mm -hmm. about. Uh, I mean, he talked about Cape Town or whatever, but yeah. he talked about Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was just excited about it and talk about they have the rugby team and blah, 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 blah. He was like, man, look. And so so day before yesterday, he was like, let me make sure I have your number. So when you leave, I need your number, your email address, because we're definitely coming to visit. Mm. That's what he said. So today, y'all know we have a guest house and we, in the guest house, we use it for Airbnb. So Did I, they know that? Oh, I don't know that they know that. Yeah. Well, in case you don't know that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we use it for Airbnb and our Airbnb guest, I saw him outside. He asked me something was wrong with the TV. I go back there to help him fix the TV or whatever have you. And I told him, he said, oh, I see you got a sign. You guys are moving. I said, yeah, we're moving to South Africa. Oh, that is great. <laughs> that is great. He got to telling me about his, his brother living in Italy. He was like, yes, I love the travel. I've been to 30 different countries and South Africa is on my, I mean, it be the white people that be so excited. Yeah, they do. I told a couple of people this week too, white people, and they were extremely They so excited. Adrian, I'm coming. I'm coming, Adrian. Yeah. Now that I know someone there, I'm definitely coming. It's like they look at you different too. Yeah, they look at you differently. They it's like, no, really. It's really like, oh, that's a free black man. That's what I, that's the vibe I get. I'm walking around the courthouse, all the judges calling me behind in the chambers and, hey, Dr. King, can we, uh, can we see you in the back? Or whatever, I, my, my government name, right? They call me by my government name. But uh, Dr. King, bro, Dr. Sai, can we, can I see you in my chambers? Hey, I hear you're moving to South Africa. And it's, it's like they look with this. Negro, how you got free? <laughs> <laughs> where you where you bought your freedom papers at? <laughs> how how can I do that? Oh, you will take me with you? Well, you know, where where Harriet Tubman at, huh? How you got you? Where, you, where your underground railroad at, huh? That's what they look at. And then the white people just they 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 got this look too, like, hmm. 
He not gonna sit up here and beg us for the rest of his life to no to to accept him. Who who does he think he is? You mean to tell me he, he has the audacity to to we've been telling him since he was six years old <laughs> go back to Africa? You mean to tell me this Negro got the audacity to listen? The unmitigated God to go with a swagger to? God dog. Unmitigated <laughs> God. <laughs> no, uh, it's always so much support. Always. Like, oh my God, that is wonderful. They're yeah. probably thinking, oh, I wish the rest would go back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk to your brethren and sisters? <laughs> get them to leave. Now, what you said happened at BCM, I want y'all to pay attention to what my uh, my wife said. Tell me. Yeah. Um, oh, never mind. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, y'all. <young. laughs> <laughs> Give me about a month. I'm going to suck it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, with that being said, family. Yeah, all seriousness, all jokes aside, and all seriousness, and all jokes aside, I, 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 I know I can just get all into my feelings and I say some things. I know everybody black can't lead this country, but we have to start really re-examining our position here and what what I saw. Um, uh, uh what do they call a TikTok thing? Mm. And the sister she said, I woke up with this on my spirit. She said, America ain't worth fighting for if you can get out get out now some people will say this is this is their country it's the only country they've ever known i i just think that excuse is myopic and pedestrian unimaginative mm. you know um i think and i'm not saying everybody needs to run to africa this is a big old world and they got places where they don't they we don't have to deal with all of this stuff huh? you know <clears throat> I ain't gonna give up fighting. I'm like, man, what you gonna do? They got guns. It's 280 million of them. We can't win a war. Mm. Right? So if we can't win the war, you want me to just stay here and suffer. Right? We've tried the 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 appealing to um moral sensibilities. Moral sensibilities. <laughs> that doesn't work. We've tried that. That's and the reason why we tried it, it's the only posture we can take. We can't take up arms. You Negroes too scared anyway. Mm. Right? So it's no taking up arms to, to, to war or anything. So all we could do is live in what I call a perpetual state of hope. Mm. It's nothing it's 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 there's nothing wrong with hope. Right? There's nothing wrong with hope. I don't want to get all theological. All I can say is we have to live in a perpetual state of hope without any evidence. Right? Without any evidence that we will see an improved situation for our people. So all I'm saying is I love black Americans so much. I do. I know y'all think, but you're so hard sometimes. I love y'all. We are people. My mama and daddy come from the country. I'm old school black people. <laughs> I come from that. No, I come from that. I don't come from the, these new street Negro. I come from a different stock of black people. From Mississippi and out in the 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 uh uh, uh North Louisiana. That's where my grandfather from. What? Yeah. Yeah, but they moved to Texas, though. But uh, in Louisiana, I'm from deep south black people, mm. deeply rooted mm. black black Americans. And I'm telling you, it's a beautiful experience and I love us. But man, God ain't put us on this planet to live like this. Mm -mm. God ain't put us on this planet to live like this, man. Huh? Read your Bible, Christian. If you a Christian, read your Bible. When the children of Israel were in bondage in Egypt, God didn't tell Moses to go to them people and say, integrate, mm -hmm. fight, fight for your place in Egypt. <laughs> no, they, they were in Egypt for 400 years. Ain't that how long we been there? 
for 400 years. And he ain't telling people, go, go and fight. Tell Moses you need to write a, a, an amendment to make you a citizen. Tell, I mean, tell Pharaoh he need to make you a citizen. <laughs> God told Moses very succinctly a very unambiguous language or unambiguously. Go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Separate. And let me tell you how much it meant. The second book, the first book is all about creation in the Bible. Creation and generations. And the very second book is Exodus. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> that's how important it is. That's how important it is. Y'all don't see it, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. You say, well, I don't, I don't subscribe. Look, why would they come? I don't subscribe to the white man religion, but you want to subscribe to this country, do I? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're we, we going to talk about something else later. Y'all, thank y'all so much for watching and tuning in. God bless.